This girl was the most beautiful girl he ever met. Was it a picture of Stephanie? Hey! <laughs> 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 oh, look at me, Wait, bro. what are you doing, bro? <laughs> bro, what's wrong with you? If you're wrong, you get whacked. <laughs> oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another da -da. Dead 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 Dead. <laughs> Dan Dan here and I just want to preface this whole thing by saying this is um this is a period in my life where sleep just isn't my friend it hasn't existed I haven't seen it in a while I haven't felt its warm caress it's warm wonderful oh, embrace fire oh yeah i don't know yeah. something about this fire is stressing me out a little bit but we're gonna be okay okay <laughs> <laughs> is it hot oh yeah it's, it's hot. really hot it's, are you sweating? Uh, yo why are you <laughs> <sweating>? <laughs> sorry <laughs> so we're gonna be eating some pizza if i sound like i'm losing my marbles it's probably because we am we am yeah. <laughs> we are we are we are joined with Dan Dan today. We're doing a scary showdown, and we've got some delicious pizza from a place where, don't even ask me the name, okay? This was the only place that was open. It's like one in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we've got wonderful pizza. We've got all of their wings. We've got their sriracha wings, their stromboli. This is strawberry flavored fried chicken wings. Strawberry flavored. This so, okay, I'm gonna try so this we first. should do losers Ooh. has to finish. finish. Okay, loser has to finish. Okay, like one though? each, right? So we're gonna do uh, the scary showdown. Yeah. And then okay. loser eats the strawberry. So we do like So before we get started, I just want to talk to you about something. Okay, we have recently moved and I'm up in my security. I'm trying to make sure that I feel comfortable with where I am. But then here's what I realized. Yes, physical security is so important, but so much of what we do is online bids which is why it's important that you guys use ExpressVPN. I have been essentially preaching about this for so long because here's the thing. Let me give you the let me give you the why first. Because I know that you guys love watching shows. I'm a huge Netflix person. If you guys are obsessed with K-dramas, I have recently I have never watched K-dramas before, but like the past I want to say like 6 months, mm -hmm. I can't stop watching them. I'm obsessed with K-dramas. <laughs> stop crying. Yeah, I, literally I was packing oh, and crying the whole time. So if you guys watch all of those things you need ExpressVPN because whatever you're seeing on your Netflix homepage right now, the collection of things that you can watch, you're probably sick of it. You're probably like, when is the new stuff coming? Mm. Well, all you need to do is get on your ExpressVPN, change your location to a different country, and suddenly, with the same cost of Netflix, you get a whole new collection. So for example, there's this K-drama called To All the Guys Who Loved Me, okay? So so good. Really? Oh my god. I am so addicted to it. You need to watch it, but you can't watch it on Netflix in the US. You can only watch it in France. Top to use VPN. Exactly. <laughs> or the scary movie Silence of the Lambs. You can't watch it in the US, but you can on Canada. If you guys aren't using ExpressVPN, it's almost like if you were to go to the gym without socks on. Like, it's just uncomfortable. You just never know who's around smelling your nasty feet. You think that you're secure. You think that you're fine, but you're really not, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you know that whatever you're doing, whether you're watching porn videos or these videos, <laughs> you think going on incognito mode is going to help you? It's absolutely not. Your internet service provider can actually sell a lot of your data to advertisers. Why'd I say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> your internet service provider can actually sell your data to advertisers. A VPN reroutes your connection through a secure encrypted server. It protects your personal data, prevents people from intercepting it in the middle. Like imagine you're sending a letter without an envelope. Anyone can just in the middle of it read it before it gets to the person that it's designed to get to. And it makes it much more difficult for someone to tell who you are, where you are, or what you're doing on the internet. If you guys are at the airports, you're traveling this summer, if you guys are going to a dorm, if you're going to college, anytime that you're on public Wi-Fi, your data could be breached, which is why I love using ExpressVPN. So make sure to check out expressvpn.com for the privacy, but also for all of the added shows that you're about to watch. Go to expressvpn.com slash base to find out how to get three months free. Thank you for ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. Let's get started. Yes. This is an intense pizza. It's got mac and cheese. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It's got mac and cheese. It's got bacon. It's feeling yeah. a little crusty. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that makes me feel... Okay. Let's try a bite of this. Oh, my God. Mmm. Oh, my God. It's really good. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mac and cheese. Mm. Yo, this is. It works. It works. 
It's so cheesy. Oh my god. The mm. bacon works too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm obsessed with blue cheese. This is ranch. This is blue cheese. Mm. Mm. Is there another ranch? Mm. Can y'all share a ranch? Mm-hmm. It's all blue. Oh. I see all blue. Shit. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you can have it here. Mm. Oh, no, that's so it. sweet. No, yeah. you have Seriously, it. Seriously, you can have it. I'm not a big sauce person. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm touched. Wait, so this, we're gonna leave this, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Should we try mm-hmm. one? Mm. Uh, should we? Mm-hmm. All right. Strawberry. This is strawberry. It smells like strawberry jam. Oh, bro. Okay. Okay, cheers, ready? Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. This ain't it. <laughs> Literally, someone got regular chicken wings and just coated it in nasty strawberry jam. It literally, yes, they just marinated with jam. <laughs> Why? It's not like infused. Why do you keep eating it? <laughs> no, Why? I'm eating other one. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm going to leave here for now. That will be my punishment. Which one are you trying? I'm trying the sriracha wings right here. Ooh. These are pretty good. Is it spicy? Mm hmm. Mmm. Wow. Right? Tastes just like sriracha. Mm Mm-hmm. At least this restaurant don't lie, you know? Yeah. When this is strawberry, they mean it. Mm -hmm. They mean it. Okay. Mmm. Listen, I don't know where to find this anywhere. I've tried talking to my parents. I've tried talking to my sister. But do you know what the trend is in Korea right now? Mint chocolate chip. Pasta, mint chocolate chip fried chicken. Mint chocolate? Mm hmm. On a chicken? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What? Mint chocolate. You think that's gonna be good? I don't like, know. Honestly. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Korean street food. Like, mm-hmm. things I never thought would be good are pretty good, though. That's true. Okay. Who wants to go first in the story? Oh, God. Yo, rock, paper? <laughs> rock, paper, scissors? Wait, let's do a Korean thing. What? Do you guys know this one? Where you go like this. What, what's uh, the noise? What's it? Terenchi. Okay. And how come? What? Wait, this, how would All you right, when win? I say chi, uh-huh. it's, it's either up or down. Or who, like uh, this or this? Yeah. Oh, okay. And whoever is by themselves Right, you goes. go first. Okay, yeah, ready? Terenchi. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, wait. wait, wait. I thought you were going up. Like, actually, it's physical. All right, all right, fine. Okay, okay, ready? Terenchi. Yes! So yes! I attack that I'm so no, confused. No, no. confused. So we, we, we won. Uh, so why did you go up? I mean, you, you can go to. up or go down. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. you start. So it's me. Okay. This story, story is a little campfire story, right? And it's going to get really spooky. There was a teenage boy. What should we name him? Let's call him Hunter, right? Hunter lives with his dad, who's a single father. It's just the two of them living in this kind of kind of an isolated place, honestly. So when you go out the front door, all you see are a bunch of trees. You've got this long driveway the neighbors are really far away and they've just been living like this for most of their lives i mean it feels safe it feels comfortable it's just very nature oriented place so when he's like about 17 years old hunter's dad is like listen are you gonna be okay i'm going on a business trip all day today i'm not gonna be home till midnight Mm -hmm. now this kid is like listen i'm a man okay i'm grown now you can leave i don't even care so the dad packs his bags he leaves early in the morning and then hunter realizes dad you freaking took my phone charger. So, you know, the dad has an Android and Hunter has an iPhone. That's so, very specific. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hunter calls his dad and is like, listen, you took my iPhone charger and now I can't charge my iPhone. And I'm just left with your Android charger. And the dad is like, well, it's okay. I'm going to be home by midnight. You're going to be fine. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be fine, right? So he spends the rest of this day and he's like, damn it, I ran out of battery. But that's okay because my dad's coming home in a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. So then midnight rolls around and he sees a car pull up and some knocking on the front door. So he's thinking to himself, oh, that must be my dad. So he looks out the window, he sees, yeah, sure enough, it's his dad's car parked in the driveway. So he goes to the front door and he looks through the people and sure enough, it's his dad at the front door. (laughs) Story over, no, I'm kidding. (laughs) Okay, it's his dad at the front door and he keeps knocking, just looking through the people and keeps knocking. So Hunter's about to open the door when all of a sudden he's like, wait, dad? What's going on? And the dad just keeps knocking. 
So he's like, Dad, w- did you lose your key or something? Why don't you just take your key mm-hmm. and uh-huh. unlock just, the door? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's weird. You never knock on the door. Uh-huh. And the dad just keeps looking at him and keeps knocking on the door. Oh, my God. So he's like, what, what? Stop knocking on the door. You're being so weird. Like, what's going on? Just open the door with your key, right? Mm-hmm. And then eventually the knocking continues and then suddenly it stops. So, you know, Hunter's thinking, maybe my dad's playing like a sick prank on me. So he decides finally, after about like five to ten minutes of this nonsense, to go and just open the door for him. To open the door for his dad. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's his dad, right? So he opens the front door slowly. And he opens it. And there's bloody footsteps leaning out of the porch. And his dad's head is taped to the door. What the heck? Wait, 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 what? His oh, dad's I get head it. Is taped right in front of the people, like towards the door, like facing oh, the door. So it was gosh. a knock from the face? No, the knock was someone else okay, hiding okay. and knocking. But they're holding the head in front of the door. That's so creepy. Is that creepy? Did you like? Yo, that's okay, so bro, creepy. I'm like really creeped out right bro, now. That's pretty good. That's a good one, right? That's a good one. Yeah, I'm okay. A- <laughs> I think if I'm six, I'll be peeing myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mean. Okay. If okay. I'm like seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now who's? How are you gonna decide who goes first? You ready? No, rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, bro. Ready? Good luck. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. Damn it. Mm. Okay. So Phil's girlfriend got into a huge car. <laughs> Bitch. car. What? You're reading off of something. I'm not reading. It's so obvious. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's obvious. funny, bro. That's no. funny. No. No. Yo, no. Yo, I wrote it down. No, it's right, so it. obvious. No, I wrote it down. Don't be reading. Okay, so Phil's girlfriend got into a huge car accident, uh-huh. right? And she was pronounced dead. Uh huh. Uh-huh. No, she was pronounced brain dead. <laughs> okay. Two weeks ago. Okay. Okay. But she was taken off the life support yesterday. Now she's, I guess, officially pronounced dead. Phil decided to come to see her for the last time before they, you know, just kind of take her away. As he arrived, the doctor was in the room. And the doctor came to Phil and saying, I'm so sorry. We've tried our best. You know, we we had to take it off. Typical. I mean, that's what (laughs) most doctors do. (laughs) Who is that typical? (laughs) Happens to me all the time. (laughs) And as the doctor was saying that Phil was trying to give the girlfriend the final hug okay so he kind of picks her up give her a little hug and then puts her down and he was like thinking to himself wow she has gone so light you know like you know how like people wait. yeah wait okay, okay you know because you you're sick mm-hmm. you don't eat you don't mm-hmm. you know you just lose weight and you become so fragile she must be in so much pain that you know in the mm-hmm. final yeah. few weeks oh. whatever right at least this is over for her now right she's mm-hmm. no longer feeling any of the pain yeah and maybe it's because the doctor really feels bad and knows that they are not wealthy. And the doctor said, you know what? I feel so terrible. Mm-hmm. You guys don't have to pay me for the final surgery. And he was like, wow, what a kind hearted doctor, right? Mm-hmm. He, he knows that this, is mu- this must be hard. He puts her down. And then the doctor said, you know, I know it's so hard for you to look at her like this. I can arrange for the, um, what's the fire? Cremation. Cremation tomorrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, you know, we can finally close the chapter. And and the doctor was encouraging him, like, you know, afterwards you should, you know, focus on moving forward. You know, this is all she's at a better place now. And he was like, Oh my god. Finally he get, he he started looking feeling better as well. And then after he went home, he thought about oh. this. No, stop, stop, stop. And he started to freak out. Why? What do you think? I love how he just like <laughs> always asks a question at the end. Okay, what do I think? Mm-hmm. Uh, <sighs> Bro, this feels like a whole episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm like really stressed right now. I'm like, I don't know. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Cremation it has to do with cremation. Like when? When did he freak out again? When he got home. After he went home. Does he have to be a certain? Do you have to be a certain weight to get cremated? I don't think so. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. What's your idea? Uh, <laughs> That's the way you know okay. Stephanie has no idea. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty good at guesses, though. I know, I know, but I need inspo. You know, I would say 
Mm-hmm. Maybe that girl. If you're wrong, you get whacked. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. No, yeah. What would you say? Um, what's that boomerang? What is it? <laughs> ah, you get boomerang. Yeah, you got boomerang. Oh, it's kind of heavy. What is that? Can we it's eat this? It's so heavy, baby. Okay, will you what grab that? What the heck? Uh, that's like ten pounds. It's the heaviest thing ever. It's filled with oh, jalapenos. That looks good. Bro, grab a piece. Yo, that what? looks good. We're getting real gross with uh. it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I messed with all bread! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take this. No, it's okay. You take this. It's okay. You take this. No, I'm gonna bite this. You take this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your thought? I would say that girl actually did not die. Okay, she's alive. And she was actually right in front of him. Wait, wait explain yourself. <laughs> <laughs> she came home. She came home. <laughs> she came home. Why? Based on what? Just vibes. <laughs> you know, just the feeling. <laughs> I didn't think to that hard. <laughs> just a feeling. Okay. How about you? She whispered in his ear when he picked her up. She whispered? Yeah. Say what? She said, I'm not brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, when he go to hug her, she was dead. Okay. She was taken off life support the uh, day before. Okay. Yeah. So the, she was still warm. So the only reason for him to freak out is if she she's alive. She was still warm. She was still warm? Yeah. Why is she still warm? Because she's alive. No, she was dead. I know, but she came but back. But the doctor died. Or the doctor <laughs> lied. <laughs> no. Okay. okay, so that's wrong. Wrong. Okay. You gotta find clues. Can I just be honest with you? Something about guessing makes me so scared. <laughs> Guessing? guessing makes me so scared than just listening to a story i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why i'm like okay this is really stressing me out okay 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 i got it give me a hint yeah give us a hint just one hint you keep looking around i know uh, you're trying to do a okay. jump scare keyword she was light she was light <laughs> then it's like huh i know this doesn't mean she was literally. on a diet <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did she go keto or something? <laughs> keto. I don't know. She was supposed to be in rigor oh. mortis if she was dead for a day. I got it. Mhm. No, actually, never mind. Never mind. I don't know. Give it a try. <laughs> Look at me. Wait, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> bro, what's wrong with you? What? what are you doing? Stop giving us those psychopathic eyes. What? Get away from me. Bro. I don't even know you like Stop. that. I feel like he doesn't even have the answer. Stop. You're <laughs> creeping me out. Bro. You want to know the answer? Yes. yes. She was light. Okay. Uh-huh. The reason why she was light uh-huh. is because she was brain dead for two weeks. Yeah. Her brain was dead. Her body was not dead. So the doctor took out all her organs. Organs, and sewed it all in those two weeks. How? And that's why the what? doctor didn't charge her for the um for the surgery. And that's why the doctor wants to burn the corpse immediately. What the heck? I'm getting yeah. like really grossed out. I'm going to die. We shouldn't be really doing this right now. <laughs> Yo, what? I'm kind of mind blown. Okay, yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. That was a good one. Like, huh? I thought uh, she was either good. not dead or something weird was happening. That's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, that's Come on, one of it's those all in the clues. Creepy stories. Mm. Honestly, did anyone guess it? Please leave it in the comments <laughs> because that was like one of those. I, like usually when you tell me the answer, I'm like, oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I think of that? Right. This one, I'm like, what? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way I would have gotten no to this answer. No Just way. no way. Okay, okay, your turn. All right. So there was this young boy uh-huh. at, in his class. What's his name? We all say Peter. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Peter mm-hmm. was at school in class. He was bored. So he was like daydreaming um, while looking at the window, right? Mm-hmm. And he, after a couple minutes, he notices something. Mm-hmm. There's a picture, there's like a picture on the ground, like right next to his classroom. And he was like, he didn't really think of it, mm-hmm. but he's always curious. He's like a curious guy. As soon as class ended, he decided mm-hmm. to go outside and just check, check it mm-hmm. out. And then as soon as he picked it up, this girl was the most beautiful girl he ever met mm. like he ever seen and in the so, picture yeah it's kind of creepy but he went around in town like asking around like do you guys know her do you guys 
know of her, like whatever mm -hmm. it is. Was it a picture of Stephanie? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> After hours of like trying to find out, mm -hmm. he no he didn't get any answers from anyone. So he went home disappointed. And that following night, should I have my mom just sit on the couch with us? Shut up. No, I'm I serious. No, yeah, we need. Yeah. Are you serious? I think I'll but, really enjoy but, but are, myself are, are so much more. You guys are trolls. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are trolls. By the way. The the video ended in the middle of Dan Dan's story, bro. Like, and Dan Dan finished it all. <laughs> but he I put said, so much energy to and that. And he said, "Babe, can you just retell it? I can't sit through it again." I'm so sorry, so pay attention to the call. No, no, so much good. It's like it's like a third. It's like ten year old in a twenty. Five year old yeah. body. Can you believe I have a podcast? <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed right now. <laughs> I'm genuinely embarrassed. I honestly can say that it's because I'm sleep deprived. Mm. We have no shades in the house. Huge problem. And I don't know why. I just keep Actually. envisioning a woman's head falling down the chimney. Yo. Yo. Ah! Yo. And you know what's more scary? What? Actually, should I say it? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't stop it. Say well, we're it. at a scary showdown. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> Wait, since your mom's here, can I say it? Like, people can see in, and yeah, we can't see out right that. now. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> Um. Okay, finish Dan Dan's story. Okay, so the guy, <laughs> let's call him, what was his name? Uh, Peter. Peter, right? So Peter sees a picture on the ground. Most beautiful girl ever, right? He picks it up. She's doing this shit. Just staring into the camera like this, right? Uh -huh. And so he's like, wow, I gotta find this girl. He starts asking everyone in his class, do you know this girl? Do you know this girl? Everyone's like, I've never seen this girl. He goes to town. Do you guys know this woman? Do you know this woman? Nobody has any idea. So Peter goes home super depressed, super sad. What's wrong? And, okay. um, you know, he's really upset. He goes to sleep. In the middle of the night, he wakes up, you know? He's gotta use the restroom. Mm -hmm. So as he's walking to his bathroom, he passes by this window. And he sees, through the, like, the, his peripheral vision, a girl, right? And he walks past the window and he's like, whoa, wait, wait, I feel like I know that girl from somewhere. So he reverses and he looks <laughs> out and it's that girl in the picture just mm. standing on the street in the middle of the night. So he's like, oh my God, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> scary. Bro, you told this to her. I know, scary. <laughs> so he's like, bro, I gotta go. So he runs out of his house, runs onto the street and he looks at her and he's like, oh my God, I gotta go meet her, right? So he steps out and a car comes and obliterates him, just boom, right? So he's left for dead. The next morning, his body is still there. The news starts circulating. Oh my God, this high school kid, I mean, he's dead on the streets. It's a hit and run, right? Uh -huh. But what's odd about this is that there's a picture next to him mm -hmm. of the girl. Can you guess what she's doing? Can you guess? I already know. We already talked about I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were the one that told the story. Right, right. He's like, no, no, I, I think I know this some, from somewhere. Uh -huh. Do y'all... Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh. Now let's tell our second story, Stephanie. Do you know why Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth? This is the story of why Hello Kitty doesn't have a mouth. Huh. Do you know why? I feel like I've heard of Hello it. Kitty. <laughs> so Hello Kitty, you know, the Sanrio character was actually created by a woman. Her name is like Yoko. Now this is, this is a theory, this is not a true story, I don't want to put this blame on Yoko, right? I'm pretty sure that this is false, but just hear me out, it's an urban legend. So Hello Kitty, I mean, why doesn't she have a mouth? Most teddy bears have some sort of a mouth. Maybe they have a little smile, maybe they have a line, maybe have, they, they have something. Mm -hmm. But Hello Kitty has nothing. I mean, creepy. So here's the story. This is before Hello Kitty was even invented. Mm. The mom had this one daughter. This is her only child, the love of her life. And she ends up getting diagnosed with some sort of mouth disease. It's cancerous, it's gonna be bad, she's gonna die. This young little girl is gonna die. So the mom, she keeps praying, she keeps you know talking to anyone that she knows, is there anything that I can do? This is my only child, I will do absolutely anything to mm -hmm. save this girl, right? And the doctors tell her, we're trying our absolute best, but there's nothing more that we can do. She's gonna die. So she's waiting by the hospital bed, just watching her young daughter die. And then suddenly a man enters the room and he introduces himself as the devil. 
And he says, I'd like to make a deal. I will save your daughter as long as you do me a favor. Well, what is it? I mean, she was desperate. I'll do anything. This is my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. And he says, I want you to create a cartoon, a cute cartoon that everyone, every child in the nation, if not globally, is going to have one inside their house. And so she asks him, I mean, yeah, I mean, what kind of deal is that? Of course, like I'll work hard. I'm going to be a saleswoman. I'm going to sell it to every single person that I know. I'll do it. And he says, okay, we have a deal. Let's shake on it. And right before she does, she just has to ask, I don't understand. You said that you're the devil, but why do you want to bring joy and happiness to everyone's life, all these kids' lives? I mean, they're going to love it. And he said, do you want to know the truth? And he tells her. But she said, okay, I don't care. I will still do anything for my child. So soon her daughter gets nourished back into no. health. I'm so sorry. I'm blinking a million times because my eyes are really dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but is it adding to the creepy factor a little? <laughs> is it or not? <laughs> okay. So um, <laughs> this is a problem with contacts, okay? So she says, okay, I got it. Now her daughter gets nourished back to health. But for whatever reason, because the disease was so bad, her lips had to be sewn shut. And her mom makes Hello Kitty without any lips, because without a mouth, because her daughter doesn't have one. And the ears are kind of like the devil's ears. And in a lot of colloquial language, kitty can also mean devil. So anytime you say Hello Kitty, you're saying Hello Demon and inviting them into your house. Whoa. It you is, didn't like it! If I'm a six-year-old girl, <laughs> I'll be shitting myself right now. You know no, what? it's pretty scary, but it's pretty good. It's more fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's like a cool urban legend. Okay. Oh, it's, it's urban legend. Something like, like that. an urban legend. Okay. Yeah. I'm really scared <laughs> of my own story. I'm like, do I have yeah, that anything? That was pretty good. Okay, yeah. okay, your turn. Then this turn. Okay, you said save the best for last. Yes. So there's us two siblings, uh -huh. Sue and Sam. Can you use a different name than yeah. Sue? Jesse. Okay. <laughs> Jesse. No, Jess. 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 All right. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Why you literally guys. just told it in one? <laughs> it's my mom. Yeah. <laughs> there's two siblings, Sam and Jess, and their parents always fight, like literally every night. Uh -huh. Because the dad, whenever he comes home, mm -hmm. he, he would either get drunk mm -hmm. or he has like anger issues. Mm -hmm. And he would actually like abuse the mom. And the mom really can't do anything because, well, she's just a too afraid. Mm -hmm. And whenever they fight, Jess and Sam always hides in their hideout. They mm -hmm. make their own, um, they make their own fort, fortress mm -hmm. with their pillows. Mm -hmm. And that's where they always hide. But one night, the dad came in, like the so worst, scared. the worst night ever. And he would break bottles and like all these plates. The mom got so tired of this, she snuck a knife and tried to kill the dad. The dad. Mm -hmm. But the dad quickly saw that in the kitchen. Jess and Sam, yeah. here's a scream. Mm -hmm. What do you think that happened? The dad killed the mom. Right. So Sam saw that. Mm -hmm. And she, he got so shocked. He grabbed the knife. Mm -hmm. And with all his might and strength, he stabbed him. The dad? Yeah. On the way, Yeah. he pushes Sue. He I mean, Jess, Jess, sorry. Yeah. He pushes Jess and then stabs the dad. Then Jess gets knocked out. Jess gets knocked out to the ground. Uh-huh. And she's unconscious. Okay. The dad dies. The mom dies. Mm -hmm. And Sam is just all paranoid because this happened to him before. So the parents aren't his real parents. They're step-parents. Jess is the real daughter. Uh -huh. And Sam is the stepson. But they all, you know, die. Uh-huh. Except... Jess, and then she wakes up, and she says, <laughs> "Okay, now uh, I'm like, bro. does he not know, or is he building suspense? Because I'm so scared tonight. I'm like about to die." No, she wakes up uh -huh. and she whispers to him, "Okay, to Sam, don't worry. 
nothing bad will ever happen to you. Okay, I guessed it because you kind of gave it away in the beginning uh -huh. by accident. Jess is not real. Okay. It's an imaginary friend that Sam has. Okay. Who okay. is convincing him to kill his adoptive parents. But w why? <laughs> I said I said earlier he was traumatized. This happened before. This happened before, like the exact same thing, but with his real parents. And he was just so shocked. He he wants to he wanted to protect his mom. Mm. But I, yeah. Jess is actually like his imagination. Mm. And it's actually his mom speaking to him. Mm. Bro, this is too deep. This is <laughs> this really is, good. This needs to be like a full movie for me to understand. <laughs> you know what this feels like? What? I feel like we need to call like social services. Yeah. I feel like we gotta call CPS on these mother forkers. Yeah. That was good though. That was kind of like your first story, deeper. Mm. You know, it wasn't just like boo. Mm. My stories have been a little boo today. Can you touch this? <sighs> Rock, paper, scissors. Right. Loser has to touch Loser. it. Hold it for three seconds. Loser, touch that. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Okay, for three seconds? Yep. Honey, are you gonna stop me or? No. One, two, three! <laughs> okay, you touch it for two seconds. Ah! <sighs> How does your finger feel now? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies, look at this tough man over here. If you are interested, leave a comment, leave a DM in his Instagram. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? <laughs> whoa, 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 while you're chugging water. I'm really scared for this last one. This is a true story from oh. someone. Okay. Okay, not from me, but it, I read it somewhere. According to that person, this was a true story. So their friend was living in a, um, in, in a foreign country, mm -hmm. in a, a renting a, a place, right? It's, it's one of those situations you live in the same house as the homeowner. Okay, yeah. like a, you're renting a room? Yeah, like a room, okay. exactly. And uh, the homeowner was pregnant at that time. And not soon after, she gave birth to a baby. Okay. Now, what's creepy about this is that's that... That's it, that's the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> There's a baby there now. So, so listen, listen, what's creepy is he never she she never really get to see the baby a lot because mm -hmm. they are really protective but there's a few times that she saw the baby uh -huh. she noticed something really strange oh no okay okay oh no oh no 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 the pupil or yeah. whatever, the black part, yeah. mm -hmm. right? So there's or the, the eye. brown or the green or blue part. Exactly. So there's the the white and then the the darker part. Eye whites, yeah. Eye whites, right? That's normal people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this baby, from what I what she can see, mm -hmm. it was the opposite. Oh, so it's black and then white inside. Yes. Yo, that's creepy. And what's even creepier? Oh, mama! Oh, mama! No, I can't! I can't! And what's even creepier okay. is she took a picture of herself, of the kid, of the kid, and she sent the picture to her friend. Okay. And the friend posted it. Do you guys want to see? Oh, it's on Miss Mango Bot. It's my newest picture. I knew it. No. Oh, Do you guys want to see? A is this yeah. a joke? No. It better be scary. It's a kid. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, did you show them? Oh, man. You wanna see? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, hey, honestly, that was pretty good. That was the best one. <laughs> and then, that was and the then, best story. you were so scared. I was so scared. You kind of lifted it up. Yeah. Know? You really made it better. I'm so sorry. Okay, for everyone, if you're tuning in, this is your first scary showdown. How does this girl live? How does this girl, how is she obsessed with true crime? What is going on, right? 
I don't know if it's the sleep deprivation. I don't know if it's because we haven't gotten shades in these windows and it's pitch black outside and everyone can look in and I don't see what's going on out there. But I'm terrified. I promise you, once we get into the hang of this house a little more, I'm not gonna be a little scaredy cat. I'm gonna own these show deaths. I'm gonna come in strong. I'm gonna make both of y'all piss your pants. I actually have to go to the bathroom. Do you really? Yeah. Are you gonna be okay alone? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, I'll be fine. Are you I'll gonna be, be okay alone on your drive home? No. No, I'll be fine. Stay tuned to see what happens to Dan Dan. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments and make sure to check out expressvpn.com slash bis to find out how you can get three months free of my favorite express VPN bits. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And hopefully I won't be so sleep deprived. Bye. <laughs>